Good Smile Company presents us with the first ever pretender class servant, Oberon. He is a playable character from the mobile game Fate Grand Order made by the Japanese company Type Moon. In literature, Oberon is known as the King of Fairies, appearing in William Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream and other 15th century poetry. In the Fate Grand Order lore, Oberon is a powerful and intelligent servant under the Pretender class. He is often accompanied by Blanca, a fairy in the shape of a moth who also serves as an advisor and friend to Oberon. Oberon was lent to me by my senpai at work, so I'm using gloves to keep my fingerprints off it and avoid any damage from handling. Normally, I'd love touching action figures with my bare hands because I believe it's part of the experience. The box contains a piece of paper with instructions on how to attach accessories. It also contains a card insert, which you can turn into a backdrop of Oberon's noble phantasm. Here we have a small Blanca figure, and the main figure is well protected by layers of plastic. We also get two extra face plates, two spare arms, and a pointing hand. We also have the usual Nendoroid stand, an extra joint part, and an articulated stand for Blanca. Oberon wears a white cape on top of a white robe. The cape has a furry texture on the neck part and is shaped like the wings of a moth at the back. He comes with a smiling face with blue eyes. His hair is gray that tapers into a pinkish hue at the tips and he wears a shiny gold crown. Oberon's cape has a black tie while his robe has a yellow one. He has a small brown pouch bag that hangs along his waist. In Fate Grand Order, Oberon has moth wings and this design aspect resonates with the rest of the figure such as the details on the cape. The inner side of the cape has a plain dark blue color. His shoes are white and black details spiral around it. Oberon's head can turn 360 degrees. It can move up and down with good range of motion. The arms has a simple peg and can swing forward and backward, only limited by the head. The arms rotate 360 degrees below the shoulder and the hands rotate as well. There is no chest articulation, but Oberon's lower body can turn 360 degrees. Oberon's leg has a forward and back swing, side to side movement, and rotation. It has a single ball joint that connects at the base of the rope. Oberon has two extra face plates on top of the smiling face. He has a sleeping face and a winking face. The front part of the head needs to be removed so we can swap the face plates. He has a white cape shaped like moth wings and there's a joint at the back which gives it some movement. We get two extra arm parts with bent elbows and closed fists. The arms can simply pop off and swap to create a variety of poses. He also has an extra hand with a pointing motion. The hands pop off as well and can be swapped. Lastly, we get a small figure of Oberon's friend Blanca.
Nendoroid Oberon looks cute and adorable as an Nendoroid should. You get very basic articulation with a bit of playability with the included accessories. The details on the face and hair is good and the pattern on the cape is executed well. You may notice some paint bleeding on the body and the feet but this may vary from figure to figure. I love the application of a subtle dark hue or shadow on the robe and the cape which adds a certain dynamic effect on the figure as a whole. Having two extra face plates is great and the accessories are enough to make a variety of poses but not tiring to swap parts all the time. It would have been more awesome if the inner side of the cape had a twinkly or starry skies effect similar to the artwork and in-game animation, but overall, I like how it ties the moth theme. As a bonus, the card insert in the box functions as a backdrop of Oberon's Noble Phantasm, but it doesn't look that great. Overall, this is a very nice Oberon figure. The Nendoroid form brings out the charm of any character and it succeeded in doing that for Oberon. The figure does not offer something really new in terms of gimmick or design but having a Blanca figure kinda makes up for that. There are obvious limits in articulation and the connection in the arms are loose on this one. But similar to paint bleeds, it can be different from figure to figure. Figures with white parts are prone to discoloration, so make sure you keep Oberon out of direct sunlight and clean him regularly if he's out for display. If you're not a fan of Fate Grand Order, you can save your hard-earned cash for something else. But if you like Oberon and already have other Fate Nendoroids, then this figure would fit your collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. My name's Al, and I'll see you on the next one.